Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav. So in this video today, I'll be discussing about the FMG December 2022 exam, the study pro plan. So basically I'll be telling the most important things which will help you pass easily. So myself, I'm an uh, FMG graduate. So I had cleared my exam on August uh, 2020. So uh, I'll also share some of my tips and uh, strategies that I used that will help you clear this exam very easily. So before we start, if you still haven't subscribed to your channel, please do subscribe. Many more interesting videos coming up and uh, you can find the Telegram link. Uh, the link is in description. You can join the Telegram group. So before we start, uh, you can uh, get this FMG 150 and above ebook. So this will contain uh, this, these subjects the most important topics from these subjects with answers and explanations. So you'll also get an uh, free one-liners book and uh, you'll also have the weekly test series ebook. So if you're interested, you can get this, the link is in description. This is basically to get uh, some additional marks, which will help you clear that uh, 150 line easily. If you want this INICT or UPSC CMS ebooks also, then you can get it. So these are some of the sample pages of the book. Yeah, so now let's go to the topic. So basically I'll be telling about uh, what we should do and then how we should do. So to start with, let's keep it very simple. We have 75 days left. So I suggest you to have one main source. It can be an uh, offline or online uh, coaching uh, notes maybe uh, your uh, any other notes as well but uh, stick to one main source so if you don't have any source then uh, you can uh, search the files menu in our telegram group there you can find notes of uh, notes for various subjects you can use that as well so i would uh, strongly recommend you to uh, use fmg solutions as well so this will serve as a q bank for you and uh, yeah, the, the link for this book is also in description. So FMG solution, it will have uh, questions with uh, answers and explanations. So I would uh, suggest you, when you read your notes, after that you should uh, definitely solve some questions in order to uh, strengthen or uh, uh, solidify that uh, concept in your memory because uh, that is what we all need because just studying is not enough. You should uh, be able to perform well in the exams. So you should practice a lot before going to the real exam. So I strongly recommend you to dedicate uh, 10 hours each day uh, for studying as uh, the thing with NEET PG or INICT candidates, it's different because some might be working, but for uh, FMG, I guess uh, everyone are uh, 100% dedicated to this exam. So I'd suggest you to spend 10 hours each day. I'll also give you the schedule. So in the 10 hours, first two hours will be for revision and solving QBank, then eight hours will be studies. So you should study all the 19 subjects. Do not miss any subject. So uh, in my exam, what I did was I couldn't able to complete all the 19 subjects thoroughly. So uh, at first I thought of uh, studying just 14 or 15 subjects, but then I also just uh, gave a glance of the remaining subjects, which were, which I was not able to study. But fortunately, uh, fortunately, uh, many questions came from the remaining four subjects and uh, just giving a glance of those uh, important topics was really helpful. And uh, that will be uh, really an extra edge for you to score extra marks. So we give uh, regular mock exams that will help you to assess yourself and uh, you'll come to know that if you if you should uh, put more effort or you're, if you're already there or uh, it will be like kind of a uh, very good insight for you about your preparation. Because uh, if you don't give mock and you just keep on studying, then uh, you will not come to know uh, if what you have studied is enough or you should put more effort or uh, 
what are the other plans that you can do so all these things will be known only if you give your mock exams and uh, you should give at least you should do at least two complete revisions of all the subjects so the daily time allotment i would suggest you to spend your morning sessions solving a uh, few bank and uh, you can also revise the previous topics so uh, you can uh, get this use this fmg solution for your q bank or you can also use maro or uh, prep ladder as your q bank so if you can't get any of these things then uh, i'll provide you test series uh, you should study at least that uh, solving questions in the morning is very important because your actual examination will also be in the morning so train your brain in order to uh, replicate the same thing in the examination hall so if you are solving questions in the morning then uh, your brain will be more active solving questions in the morning at the exam hall, hall as well so revise the last day topics uh, in the morning session itself then from 10 to 1 that will be a morning study session 3 hours then 3 to 5 2 hours afternoon study session and uh, 6 to 9 3 hours evening study session so this is just a sample for you so you can uh, alter and adjust according to your uh, uh, comfort but uh, i strongly recommend you to spend at least 10 hours a day studying and revising so dividing these days 75 days what we are going to do is that first 45 days we'll try to complete uh, reading all the 19 uh, subjects and uh, after that i recommend you to give one mock exam in this 45 days your daily morning the two hours which you have uh, uh, allotted for q bank and uh, uh, previous day topic revision what you do is that use your first 30 minutes for uh, revising the previous day topics and then the next uh, 90 minutes solve solve your q bank so the next uh, 20 days what you will do is uh, that will be your first revision of the 19 subjects then in this 20 days uh, i recommend you to give two mock exams one mock after every 10 10th day then uh, daily 30 minutes of previous day topics plus 90 minutes of q bank in the last 10 days before the exam that will be your uh, second revision so try to give two mock exams every fifth day and uh, now uh, increase your q bank timings by three hours so as more as much as you solve your q bank you will be uh, very confident in your exam which is really important and uh, you should not have that mind uh, you should not think like uh, you have missed uh, some subjects and topics so you can't do well it's nothing like that uh, if you solve more of the q bank then you will have your uh, mental advantage of uh, uh, something like positive thoughts which will help you clear the exam very easily so this exam is all about your uh, preparation in this uh, 75 days that you have so this uh, timetable that i have uh, told this basic outline this, this applies to people who are starting now and also who are already uh, started studying uh, if you have already started studying I would suggest you to spend more time on QBank, but if you are you are if you are starting just now, I'd suggest you to follow this as it is. So the timings each day, then that you can uh, extend or uh, have it to your comfort. It's up to you. So make sure that uh, you study all the nineteen subjects, and uh, you give at least five mock exams before the final exam and uh, you should solve q bank every day that is very important so these are some of the important things that i wanted to tell you you can also form a telegram group add me in it so that uh, you can uh, keep your daily schedule in check that will help you uh, that will help your uh, other fellow exam takers uh, that will motivate them so yeah something like that that will keep you in touch like kind of a study partner thing you can do that as well so these are the way, important things that i want to tell before the uh, exam and uh, i hope uh, 
you can follow this and uh, you can also clear the exam so if you have any doubts regarding this uh, fmg december exam then uh, kindly you can uh, ask it to me uh, my telegram link is in description as well so that's all for this uh, video thank you and all the best